Got up the middle way. El Torito. Okay, we're coming down to the end of this round. We'll continue with more on ESPN. Five for ten, Bobby Chez going a lot longer than expected against Elisha Obed, who has had no offense whatsoever against Chez. Randy and I have Chess pitching a shutout through four. Tremendous right hands in the side by Chess. Another one. Come on. Obed takes an uppercut, takes another uppercut, and Bobby Chess looks like he has come out this round with renewed vigor, like he wants to stop the show. Now, Tony Perez, the referee, with a warning. That's because Obed is holding on and wrestling. He's not fighting. Again. We have seen no offense from Obed. And once again, he slips because of his leather shoes on this canvas. In the old days, a trainer would have taken a knife and scraped some lines at the bottom of those soles to get some traction. I'm not going to say that it's the shoes. I mean, it does, that has a factor in this fight, but I tell you, it's those punches of Bobby Chess. I don't think Obed has ever recovered from the first right hand he got hit with in the first round. Chess powerfully built. Good upper body strength, thick legs. He can take you out with either hand. Halfway through round number five, the crowd growing restless. They want a knockout from their idol. Chez is not about to get careless. Just landed a tremendous left hook. How Obed is up, I don't know. And Obed takes a right cross. Another left hook. Obed just holding on. He is non-combative. Not a good showing for Elisha Obed. A left hook and a right cross delivered by Chez. Chez with a right to the body. Let me tell you, Bobby is really digging those right hands into the side, and every time he lands, Obed's eyes open wide. Again. A right to the body and a right to the head, both by Chen. Obed just keeping his hands out in front of him, not throwing punches. In fact, a lousy performance by Elisha Obed. Less than 30 seconds to go. Left hook by Chen. Obed didn't go down because he grabbed Chen. I really think this could be a very sad ending to a once fine fighter. Left right combination by Chez as Obed hugs him waiting for the bell. We're halfway through this 10 rounder. You could Between rounds, referee Tony Perez went over to the corner of Elisha Obed and told him that he is going to disqualify him if he continues to hold Bobby Chez. Randy Gordon and I have Chez pitching the shutout 25-20 through five rounds. Chez in the white, in control. Shutout, more like a no-hitter. Obed takes a right to the body and a left hook to the head. Left-right combination from Chez. Obed is gift wrapped to go. Elisha is not fighting with respect. He is fighting with fear. Chez with a left hook. Obed against the ropes. Just holding on, not throwing any punches. Chez with the right hand. And Tony Perez may just have to stop the fight unless Obed becomes more combative. Another left-right combination by Chez, some more holding by Obed. I think Tony Perez is about to stop the fight. He is looking. Obed is landing nothing of any consequence. One punch from Obed in the middle of all of that. Hard left jab by Chez. Obed holds And Sal, I think a career that started back on August 10th, 1967, with a four-round decision, is going to come to an end here tonight in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Obed won that junior middleweight title in uh, November of 1975, defended it twice, lost it, later challenged for the title. We're halfway through the sixth round. At 29 years of age, Obed looks like he is through. He started fighting 
when he was 15 years old. Well, if he was looking to take a seat, he had plenty of excuses earlier in the fight. He's been taking uh, several hard shots. Tony Perez stops it and says Chez is the winner. Obed didn't fight. So Tony Perez is pushed now by Obed in the ring, and Perez now puts his hands up. Lou Duba moves in between them, and Obed lost his cool. He pushed the referee, and Perez had given him warning between rounds. He said, if you continue to hold, I am going to disqualify you. I am going to award the fight to Chez. And that's exactly what happened. And Obed really doesn't have much argument. He's got his hands up. I think he knows now that he did wrong in the fight. He tried a little bit, but not enough. He was once a world champion, and I'm not so sure that he went out like one tonight. Certainly uh, not a pleasing end for the crowd. And of course, not for Bobby Chez. He wanted to win impressively. Perez backed up his warning, and he stopped the fight. Obed doesn't like it, but he's in fact, did not really perform well here tonight. I just saw Bobby Chess shake his head. He's not happy. He's happy with his performance, I think, but just not the ending. You can't be happy with an ending like that. Bobby wanted to really look good here tonight. So Bobby Chez wins his 16th in a row. Obed loses for only the 13th time. He has 84 wins, 13 defeats, and four draws. Here's the ring announcer with the official call. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Tony Perez disqualifies Alicia Obed. The time, two minutes of the sixth round. Your winner, still undefeated, Bobby Chez. Bobby Chez. So Bobby Chez goes over and congratulates his opponent. Obed still unhappy with the decision by Tony Perez. We'll return with more after this. At ringside here in the Burn Meadowlands Arena, Sal Marciano with Randy Gordon and Bobby Chez is making his way over to our broadcast position. Bobby Chez won on a disqualification over Elisha Obed. Tony Perez had warned Obed before the round that unless he was combative, he was going to stop it. A difficult road for you tonight, not because you were in with a puncher, you were in within a, with a, a hugger in that ring. Well, he, he had a good left hook, but... Uh, I knew about that beforehand, and I didn't let him really hit me with it. But all he kept doing was grabbing his side and, and, and thumbing and butting and just holding and shoving me and elbowing. So he wasn't fighting. And uh, Tony warned him a few times. He was holding around the head. He was elbowing me behind the head. So uh, I would rather gone to 10 rounds myself. But I felt the body punch were wearing him down. But, like, Tony's a referee. It's his job. I think the fans are restive here because they wanted a knockout from you. Question from Randy Gordon. Well, Tony Ayala was sitting ringside with us. And so many times we've said that you're really not a middleweight. You're growing into a light heavyweight. Is it going to happen in your next fight, or is it still some time away? I'll stay a middleweight as long as I can. Uh, you mentioned Tony Ayala. He had a fight similar to this with a guy, and, and sometimes with a guy like that's just holding. So you beat him for 10 rounds. I would have liked Tony to let it go. And uh, I'm going to stay a middleweight as long as I can, though. Lou Duba, what's uh, next for Bobby? Well, first of all, let me talk about the opponent, Alicia Obed. It just so happened that this time here, we heard about him. We didn't have any film on him. We never saw the fellow fight. All we know is he was former junior middleweight champion of the world. From now on, I see the guy, he's going to fight from now on. I get a record on him. I see a tape of him. I want to see him fight in person. He's not going to fight guys like this here. It doesn't make Bobby look good. It isn't good for the public. As far as I'm concerned, the guy, the guy wasn't even trying out there. The way, he was like an octopus out there. Bobby, Bobby came to fight. The other guy probably didn't come to fight, and it's just too bad that it had to wind up this way here. As far as Bobby's concerned, we're going after January 17th. We're going after uh, Mickey Goodwin. We're looking to fight Robbie Sims, uh, Doug DeWitt, uh, Jeff McCracken, anybody and all that's a good fighter. But preferably, right here in the Meadowlands, I'm looking for one guy that's sitting over there, Peter Antipromo. That's who we want to fight. We've offered him $75,000 for Tony Carrion. Anytime he's ready to sign, we're ready to make the match right here with uh, Peter Antipromo. Congratulations to Bobby Chez now, 16-0. and 0. 
And we want to remind you on ESPN, we have more boxing in store for you. Thanks very much for stopping by, Bobby.